I'm Tom from Do-It-Yourself Home Automation, and this is a look at how the Nest Learning Thermostat actually learns. Um, so this is the Nest Learning Thermostat. It's a web-connected thermostat that you can install that replaces the normal thermostat you have in your house. And you can do all sorts of cool things like controlling this through an app um, and using voice control and that kind of thing. Um, but one of the selling points for it is that unlike a normal thermostat where you have to go through and in a very tedious way put in um, your schedule, uh, for when you want it to change temperature and that kind of thing, this actually learns as it goes um, how you want your house to be heated and cooled. Um, and so that's the learning aspect of the thermostat. So how does it actually do that? When you first install the thermostat, it doesn't know anything about your routine. So for the first few days and even up to a week, it's basically just expecting you to set the temperature, which you do by making a change just with a dial there. Um, and any temperature setting you make, it learns from. Uh, and so in that way, in the beginning, it's really just figuring out what your normal schedule is, what time of day you want it to be a certain temperature and that kind of thing. So it's important for that first week to really just sort of feel the temperature in your house, make changes as you go, um, and the thermostat will learn from that as you do it. Uh, once it has that initial schedule locked in, then as it starts to um, you know, have that, it gets a little bit more uh, selective about its learning. So it starts to do your routine, it sees how you adjust to it, so if you like the temperature it is in your house you keep it, um, if not you can tweak. Um, but after the first week or two it takes a couple of tweaks at a, at a consistent time of day for it to learn and actually change the schedule. So again in that first couple of, uh, first week usually if you make any kind of a change it's probably going to log that and make that same change at the same time of day. After a month or so though, say you know it's 4 p.m. and you decide it's a little bit hot in the house and you turn it down, you'd have to do that every day for a few days for it to actually uh, update its schedule and change. So it becomes a little less sensitive. And that way you don't have to worry about you know if maybe you have someone over who wants it to be colder or you just feel a little bit warm and turn it down or it feels a little chilly one day and you turn it up. It's not going to learn from every single move you make uh, after that first sort of initial period. Um, and, you know, it does still continue to learn, though. So if, for example, you know, it starts to get hotter out during the day and you want it to be a little cooler at night and every night you start turning it down to 69 instead of 71, um, then after a few nights it will learn that and start to do it for you automatically at around the same time each night. Um, you know, it can also learn from when you're in and out of the house. There's probably other pieces to the algorithm, but basically you have that initial training period, and then from there on it is still always continuing to learn. But if you just make a one-time change or setting, it's probably not going to alter your schedule. Uh, you can always go in and see what schedule it has set for you through the, uh, the app. You can also go into the uh, thermostat here and then you can start to scroll through and see which set points it's decided to assign based on what it's learned about your schedule. Uh, if you found that helpful in any way, please subscribe to my channel, it really helps.